Hi, Odyssey Camper here. I want to show you how I put an 800 watt inverter in the Phase 1 Odyssey project. There's more information on odysseycamper.com if you want to really get into it. But I was heading out on the road and I needed uh, 120 volt power. Uh, I needed, I figured, 600 watts or so. So I did a quick hookup of an inverter to battery. Now there's, I'm um, using the starting battery here, so there's no house battery. And when you do that, you have to be really careful that you don't run the battery down. But underneath here, we've got an 800 watt inverter. I'll put a, a link in there. These, uh, these inverters are fairly inexpensive. Put a link in the notes. Um, going under the seat here, I've got a ground cable, and that just runs to the seat post underneath the seat. And then I've got my positive battery cable. And they're both on lugs. You can see that. And this is a four gauge wire that goes all the way back to the battery. And to put those lugs on takes a little bit of soldering uh, skill. Uh, you can crimp them and then heat shrink them, make sure it doesn't get nicked. Uh, I put this convoluted tubing over it. That gave me the ability to run the immersion heater um, when I was on the road to make my food and uh, some other things as well. I actually even ran my heater for a while, but again, you have to be careful you don't run the car battery down when you do that. And the car battery isn't designed to deep cycle. It's only got about 40 amp hours of energy. Uh, you don't want to run it down more than 50%, so figure you've got 20 amp hours. Not a lot to work with, but it was more than enough uh, to survive on the road for a month. So. Let me show you how this cable is run. It actually goes right under the mat, under the carpet actually, and then up behind here, and I'll show you where it comes in under the hood. Uh, you can see the convoluted tubing here. Uh, to get in there, you have to pull off this panel. There's a couple of clips there, a couple of screws. Take this drawer out, and then you can get at everything, and you can run your cable down under the carpet. You want to make sure that when you do run something under the carpet, you put shielding over it so it's got uh, thick insulation on the wire but it also has some convoluted tubing around it. And then I ran it in a place where you never put your feet. And then it comes out here under the seat. You can see the convoluted tubing there. And then runs back to the inverter. Here's where the inverter ties into the battery. I've got a 100 watt circuit breaker there. And there's an easy access hole through the firewall right back there. You can pop the plug out, cut the plug, put your wire through it, and get some of this plastic wire loom. Pretty simple connection. Oh, I guess I should show this. Got the lug going right onto the side of the post there. And of course, the inverter is grounded inside the vehicle. So quick and dirty, 800 watts of power. Uh, if you want to add a battery to it later, you can. I'm going to talk about battery packs and whatnot in upcoming videos. But that's a quick and dirty way to run some serious power to the back.